everybody, Layla here with another quick tip about ClickUp, talking about table of contents in the docs view. So if you're not familiar, let's start with the basics here. ClickUp has a docs view. It works like Dropbox Paper or Google Docs. It basically allows you to type things in, multiple editors, format things using all the stuff you're used to when it comes to formatting text, as well as a lot of fancy things you might not be used to, like um, just being able to highlight text and do things like this. You can also embed websites and a whole bunch of other fun things by using their slash commands, which when you're clicking, you can just click on slash commands or just type slash. It'll open up a bunch of different options, which you can scroll through and click on or just start typing. So for example, if I want the red background, I could click on it or just type R and enter and then, then type something. The red is really more of a pink, but you get there's you get what they're going for there. The most recent addition to the slash commands at the time of filming this is the slash TC, um, which effectively oops, I need to actually type to do that slash TC, which unlocks or creates a table of contents dynamically in your doc. So if you have a long doc, lots of information, type slash TC, and it'll pull in all of the information from the doc into a table of contents that you can then click through. Um, the second kind of bonus of this video is you're also seeing a bit behind the scenes of my own client resources. Shh. Um, so I have a bunch of templated emails and resources that I have in different styles, which I have as headers here in this email. I don't even remember what these are. Oh, this is like if someone, if someone reaches out to you and you want to give them an auto reply that you'll get back to them soon. Um, the table of contents, just like you might be used to in Microsoft Word, feeds off of what has a header, um, a header quality in the actual format. So header implies both a style and a level of the hierarchy. So this is level one, level two, level three. We need to format things. We can use the quick commands to do that, or we can just select things and go through them that way. The other way to do that, just to repeat what I was saying before, is to use the quick commands to type whatever level we're going at. When we do that, we'll see that it actually shows up as indents in the table of contents. In this situation, what I actually have here, everything is just that header two style, just because I find them a little bit easier and they feed in here and I'm able to click between all these different emails, um, these email templates by style, just by using the table of contents. So super fun. You could see you just there in that example, they update in real time. They help you navigate a long document when there's no page numbers, um, just like Dropbox Paper or Google. Well, no, Google Docs has it, but just drop, just like Dropbox Paper, um, the documents in ClickUp are endless. So it is nice to have that table of contents to help you kind of map your way through it so you're not overwhelmed and lost scrolling for long periods of time. Um, and you don't always need to create separate pages for every piece of information you want. Okay, that was a lot of enters. <laughs> So that is the, oops, oh my gosh, that is the very enthusiastic um, table of contents feature. It is based on the headers hierarchies, which are four different layers here, three headers and then normal text and helping you organize all of the headers into a table of contents automatically at the top of your document. You can get to that or insert that anywhere in your document by typing slash TC or clicking anywhere, waiting for that um, slash to show up, clicking on it and then scrolling down until you see TC. Same way. Different ways, same thing. Um, but that is the table of contents and it is now here in ClickUp. So if you have any questions about that, don't know if I can answer them, but leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, if you want more tips about ClickUp, workflows, automation, and ways to make your small business work a little bit better by using technology and documentation, definitely hit subscribe or join the Facebook group or the newsletter tagged in the description of this video. Um, we have a good time there and we can talk live about your workflows. So it's not just, you know, this monologue of me talking at you. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.